Hey, how's it going guys? So in the last part, we imported the animations into Unreal Engine 5. And in this part, we are going to import them into Unity. So for this uh, video, I'm using Unity 2020.3 and I'm using the built-in render pipeline. So let's get started. Let's start by creating a new folder here in this empty project. So right click, create new folder and call this FPS animations or whatever you like to call it. Let's open that up. And let's go ahead and import our files here that we exported before. So we can simply select these and drag them in like so. And let's also import a texture. We can make these a little bit bigger actually. There we go. And now we're going to have the mesh and the animations baked into the same file here, which is fine. You could also export them separately if you like to, um, but for this, uh, this purpose, it's totally fine. So we can select this one here and check that it's all correct. Um, yep. We have the scene. Well, it's called scene, but this is the real animation. So we can actually rename this and call it a underscore FP reload and apply that. And we also want to uh, uncheck resample curves and disable animation compression because basically what these do is they're going to lower the quality of the animation. So we don't want that. And we can preview this, make sure it looks fine. Yep. And do the same for the gun as well. So disable resample curves and turn off uh, compression. And rename this one to AFP gun reload, like so, and apply that. And let's also go ahead and create a, a basic material just like we did before. So right click and create material. And let's call this one M uh, base and assign the texture by dragging it into the albedo like this. And then we can go ahead and assign the materials directly to the models here by clicking the mesh and then going to materials and finding our base material like this and do the same for the gun as well. All right, there we go. And now in order to test the animations, we can drag the arms into the uh, viewport here. And to make it a little bit fancy, we can add a camera under the head bone. So we can actually preview uh, the camera animations as well to see how it looks. So let's expand this, go into the rig and find the camera bone and right click on this one and add a, um, a camera like this. We can also uh, drag this one here so we can see better what the camera is seeing. And by default, the camera is uh, looking up at the sky here, I think. So let's rotate that and find the perfect uh, placement. So it should be 90 on the x-axis. So it looks forward like this. And we can also notice that the clipping is way too short. So it's actually cutting off half of the arm here. So we can change the near clipping plane to be about 0 0.01, something like that. And now we can actually see that it's uh, rendering the full arm here. And we can also increase the FOV a little bit so we can see more of the arm. About 80 or 85 should be enough. And the next step is to create a animation controller. So we can actually assign the animations and play them on the character. So let's create a new animation controller. And let's call this one animation controller underscore arms like this. And let's open this by double clicking. And then we can simply drag the animation here from the arms mesh. So we have the reload animation here. So let's drag it in and it's going to be 
the only animation playing by default. And let's also set this to looping so we can actually preview uh, how it's going to look. So set it to loop time enabled and apply that. And now we need to assign the controller to the arms in the scene here. So select this one and let's add a new animation controller, sorry, animator. And then simply drag the controller into the controller slot here, like this. And now if we play it, we can see that the arms are being animated. Yep. And we can also see the camera animation uh, because the camera is uh, parented to the camera bone. All right. And now let's do the same setup for the gun here. So we can just duplicate this one by pressing Control D. And let's call this one AC underscore gun. And let's open that one by double clicking. And we can delete this one and then replace it with the gun reload animation like this. And we also want to set this one to looping like that. And now we need to assign the gun to the hand in the scene here. So to do that, we can find the hand bone, the hand R bone, and let's create a new empty object under this hand. So right click and create empty. And let's call this one uh, location gun, or, you know, call it whatever you want, really. <laughs> And then we can drag in the gun mesh here and place it under the new empty that we just made. And by default, we're gonna see that the gun is huge. And this has to do with uh, the scale difference between Blender and Unity. So by default, objects made in Blender are much bigger than in Unity. And this could be fixed by changing the default scale in Blender to match the one used in Unity. Um, because we already created the animations, it wouldn't really work now because that would mess up all the previous animation data that we created. So for now, we have to actually change the scale in here uh, to make it work. So to do that, select the new empty and set the scale to 0 0.01 like this. And now we need to place the gun in the hand so it's correctly placed. So let's rotate it like this and move it forward so it, uh, it fits in the hand. We can switch to 2D. Sorry. Uh, we can switch to orthographic to get the uh, correct placement. Make it a little bit easier to, uh, to place it out here. So something like this. I think this is pretty good. Actually a little bit more to the right here. All right, that's pretty good. And just like we did for the arms, we should also create a controller here for the, the gun. So let's assign a animator and then drag and drop the gun animation, uh, animator controller, sorry, like this. And now if we play the scene, it should play both the gun animations and the arm animations uh, synced. And there we go. It's playing correctly and uh, the mag is going in. The hand is grabbing the mag. So that's perfect. Just what we want. All right. So that's the basic setup here in Unity. I hope it gives you an idea of how they can be used in a game. Uh, obviously for a game, you would need a lot more setup and you would need some, you know, scripts to make the character move and to shoot the weapon and stuff like that. But yeah, that's the process for importing files into Unity and to make them play in the scene. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. And maybe I'll see you in a future tutorial. Who knows? There might be some more stuff coming in the future. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned and I'll see you guys. Bye-bye.